Hey guys, me, good boy Gav. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's me with um, a camera. It's, it's light. Eh. Eh. It's me. Uh, I'm, I'm in a room. What kind of room could it be? It's my super duper epic gamer room. So, I said in my last video that I would be uh, making, you know, a video talking about what I want to do with the channel and stuff, and this won't replace the main content, but what I'm going to do, what I'm thinking about doing is using the channel also as a way to show my progress, and whenever I get new games and stuff, like a new game hall or something, I'll talk about them briefly, or if I get something big... I'll talk about it for like 10 minutes, something like that. Because, uh, I kinda have a hobby of, uh, collecting video games. Yeah, I'm a Scott the Waz wannabe. So, um, yeah, just like a really early route to where I'm just gonna start. I guess we should start where all the magic happens with the YouTube channel. And that is my. Gamer PC. This is my PC setup. My Epic Gamer PC setup. Right here. So, uh... I might make a video about my PC later. But I don't think anyone really cares. It's just... Well, uh, it's just a gaming PC. Nothing to write home about. My monitor, my webcam, my keyboard and mouse, and... My, uh, case. It's a PC, yeah. This is the desk where I do all my work. I have my microphone mounted up here. Also, uh, the reason why you might see like that sewing machine and those clothes right there is because this is my mom's old workroom, and I'm currently in progress of making it into, well, a gaming room. So, this is where I have the microphone. This is where I record my voice if I'm on the PC. My friend, uh, she got it for me for my birthday. It's pretty epic. Um, yeah, that's that's it. I have the switch. I have a switch dock there. Um, I have a corner of like a bunch of stuff. I don't think you guys care about this. Let's just keep going. So this is where I keep my extras that I very rarely use, like my extra electronics. In general, that aren't really the games like my keyboard and wood planks. I don't know why these are here. They're just <laughs> here. Uh, there's a heater. We got a little heater down here. It's pretty cool. No one cares. Okay. So uh, let's probably start with probably the most interesting. No, probably the least interesting show. I don't know. Uh, I'm not tall enough. Hang on, I need to stand on a stool to show you the top of the <laughs> thing. Ah. I'm high up now. Oh. Okay. Um. So this right here is the top of the show. This is where I have Todoroki figure. He's pretty cool. My favorite figure. This handsome Squidward one. It's official. It's an official <laughs> handsome Squidward figure. You can uh, you can move his head and his arms. Yeah, he's really cool. I I like him. He's like, if you want him, he's like on Amazon for like twenty dollars. He's like, yeah, he's a really cool figure. Um, this is where I have a bit of manga, kind of a weeb. No, uh, yeah, I like anime and stuff. Obviously, I'm like. Yeah, that kind of breed. Uh, we got some manga, mostly My Hero Academia and, you know, stuff. Old manga I had, from, like, a long time ago, kind of. That I just never got rid of. And this, ah! Got on the stool. This is, uh... Okay. This is the Xbox shelf. The Xbox 360 shelf. Yes, I don't have an Xbox One. I'm a sad poor child, of course. I can afford a gaming PC. Yeah, sure. 
So uh, this is the Xbox shelf. We have a Minecraft cow here in the corner. Chillin'. Yeah, he's right here. And I guess I'll just scroll past my game so you can see all of the uh, all of the games. Try to get a good shot of them all. don't have that many games for it. I mean, this is kind of a bit more games than most people have for the 360, but it's, it's decent. We also got a uh, stacked uh, case of games that I that we got. Some sort of something. Um, it has some games, like some, it mostly just has Call of Duty games and doubles of some games that I have, mostly Halo games. Um, yeah move down these are the shelves of organizing these little cubbies are for organizing my uh, extras and whatever little collectibles so this first one I have this first one I have is the controllers mostly controllers for the PC like really old Microsoft controllers this PlayStation 4 controller I just have this uh, epic Mickey 2 nunchuck I got it for like $2 or $3, it was pretty cool. Uh, 360 chat pad, Joy-Cons, third party SNES controllers, you know, that kind of stuff. And then this this one, I guess, is a little more interesting. Uh, this is where we have mostly 3DS and plug and play and loose games right here. So this little uh, basket has see it has a bunch of like DS games it has I have Pokemon Fire Red two copies of Leaf Green and the original Pokemon along with other 3DS games that are just here New Super Mario Brothers good DS games and 3DS games I just don't have cases for next is nothing really special I have a head the heads that I used to use early in the channel I don't think I ever showed my camera with it. Uh, Raspberry Pi, where I have all my um, SNES, NES games and stuff, because I haven't actually bought, bought the games yet. I'm not the one who pirated them. I'm not going to jail. That was a joke. I don't pirate stuff. That was, that was a joke, guys. That was a joke! Okay, this is mostly just cables, chargers, manuals, stands. Uh, for some reason, the back of my Xbox 360 is just here. Uh, yeah, these are all just chargers I don't use or don't have a use for. And down... Uh, down here are all my, uh... De my dad, he recently gave me all of his old Marvel comics and stuff. So we have a bunch of ElfQuest ones, mostly Fantastic Four and Avengers. A few Spider-Man comics. Uh, I don't know if most of these are really worth much money. I think the most expensive one is worth like $30, $40. Um, we got the... Ah, ah, we got the bigger books. Mostly Marvel stuff. Robotech that exists. This is mine. I got it at a, book, a Scholastic Book Fair of all places. It's um, just a compilation of, Nintendo, of a Nintendo Power series. I really like it. Pretty cool. Pick it up. It's like good. It's it's good. If you don't want, if you like non-canon stuff, it also is what uh, introduced Wario, the, the the mean man himself. Now I'm gonna pick these all up again. So this is the comics. Down here in the corner, I got the um, McFarlane like not knockoff, I guess, but like. Legos of um, FNAF. Those are worth a lot of money if they're complete. They're not mine aren't, so. Yeah. Uh, this is the futon. You just have a futon in here. Uh, yeah, that's there. I'll tell you why it's there a bit. It's the bulletin board. Don't really have much going on here. I made this in, 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 in an art class. Pretty cool. There's a bunch of Pokemon pins. Um, now the other shelf. 
These are a bunch of Funko Pops here. We'll see anime and video game Funko Pops. For some reason, there's just this here. Stewie's there. Two. He's just there. Um, this is a very sm um, small Amiibo collection. Uh, this guy is a custom one. Uh, all I did was slap Tanuki Mario on a Tom Nook Animal Crossing one. Uh, yeah, it's just the Amiibo. That was cool. That's my guess. Yeah. That's the Amiibo, I guess. Go down. This is where I've got the Nintendo Switch games. Not a whole lot of them. I don't buy Switch games. I don't buy Switch games all that often. But they're, uh, they're here. Pretty cool. cool. Got a few doubles because my brother owns some of the games I own. Mostly Mario games, Splatoon, Animal Crossing, you know, all the essentials. Most of them. Here we got Snorlax chilling in the corner. And this is where all my 3DS and DS games are because I basically grew up on the 3DS. It was like my first console I owned myself. Before that, I guess I just played the 360 one explains the amount of games I have. So, this is the 3DS game catalog. Um, I know the video is flipped, so you can't read these, but I think if you just um, read them backwards, you'll get an understanding of them. Um, I've been buying more just original DS games lately, so, the, so that's these. And I also have three handhelds. I have this DSi, um, yeah, DSi XL. I, um, I think it was family members, um, yeah. This is my brother's Pokemon 2DS. He never uses it. Yeah, it's just here, but there's like a button you can press in, which is pretty cool. This is my main 3DS, 3DS XL, Mini Nintendo 3DS XL. Seen better days for sure. It's all paint is yeah dying. Protected thing with that sealed off. Um, it's peeled off. It's super. It's not in the greatest condition, but it works fine. Except that the clock in the in the system clock is messed up. Okay, down here is where the collection starts to get a bit small mostly more recent consoles like that I literally just got um I have I don't know if you can see that um okay I'll just pull them out because it's like three games we got Tetris Worlds you can't read that but Tetris Worlds for the Nintendo GameCube Battle for Bikini Bottom for GameCube classic classic and then we got Resident Evil 4 yeah, good game. I don't know why I have it on GameCube. I just do. I guess I'll also show you guys the console later. And along with those, um, I randomly just have an NES Game Genie here. I think it was my dad's or something. You know, the thing you put the cartridge in, and then it lets you use cheat codes for some games. Um, and now we have my only N64 game because literally like three days ago as of recording this video, which is also the same day I think that I'm uploading it, is Mace the Dark Age, which is like a Mortal Kombat, not clone, but it's like a Mortal Kombat game on N64. It's rated M, I can't play it. Yeah, no. <laughs> and down here is a bunch of boxes and stuff that I just don't use. And it's also a home PC that I don't ever use. And there's a Minecraft sword there. And as I recording this video, it might be done uh, by the time you might be watching this in the future or something. Uh, I plan for this place with all these clothes. I plan for them all. I plan for there to be like a shelf. And there's gonna be like a shelf. And then I'm gonna have like cubby kind of thing. I'm gonna have most old, most of the older um, consoles that I um, either own right now or are going to own, like SNES, NES, um, 64 and stuff. Anything 
older than a 64 is going to be in here with a CRT TV. And that'll be the main uh, retro gaming area. And then in, I'll just bring up a, a picture right now. Um, this is, this picture right here is the, um, that's the main gamer space. It has my GameCube, my Xbox, the N64 I literally just got. Uh, his name is Pickles. Uh, he was, he's not in the greatest shape. He's missing some components, and I don't even have a controller yet. But we're getting that done. Uh, I plan to put more consoles and stuff there. There's not really anything else I really want to do with that. But, um, yeah, that's the room pretty much. Don't think there's anything I really miss. It's just the room, you know? It's pretty simple. Um, I do have these lights up here. These lights and stuff, which I can choose the size of. They're pretty cool. Um, yeah. Kermit's here. Oh! This is also, I guess I should also show you guys my hair. The, uh, let me grab it. In this case right here, is where I have the tablet, which is what I use to make my speed paints and stuff. It's a, uh, it's a Wacom, it's a Wacom 1. Uh, it's, a good, it's kind of a budget tablet, it's kind of not. It's like $400 or something like that. I don't want really to use it that much. I don't know. I bought it like a few months ago and used it a ton, as you can tell, of my past uploads from like a few months ago. Yeah, it's cool though. It lets me draw and animate stuff. I'm not good at animating, so don't expect animation on the channel. I might do that someday, but not today. So, um, yeah, that's the video, guys. Uh, if you like the idea of me putting these on the channel and uh, making videos about retro stuff and just games in general that I pick up on a basis, um, let me know. I will say that I probably won't make these videos too often as much as my normal content because um, it's easier to make my normal content and I don't buy games all the time, you know? I actually have um, money that is not just disposable. I I don't have a disposable income, obviously. I'm not a big YouTuber. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, don't forget to subscribe, obviously, or else I'm going to consume your apples.